So this is about what I'm getting. Probably four inches of spark. Here we can see the finished product. I finally got it the way I wanted it to and the way I wanted it to look. We got everything pretty much compact and it's a it's been a work in progress for a long long time and everything is now set up basic, basically the way I wanted it to. Here we can see kind of inside of the box you can see more in detail. You have a big transformer on the left which is a microwave oven transformer. You have an on button and a potentiometer which controls the voltage to the transformer. It's basically just the dimmer circuit. And in the back you can barely see it, but that's a filament transformer which will also be used for when I'm putting in a staccato for controlling the on and off time. On the top you can just see the resistor with the inductor kind of wound around it and the, the capacitor. It also got a couple of other pouches, but I'm not going to really go into detail. And here we can see the brain of the circuit, the vacuum tube on the right side. It's an a to 11A vacuum tube and it's been proven to give a pretty good output. You can also see the primary and the feedback coil. And here we can see the secondary. It's a small tube with around 1000 turns on it and you can see a banana plug in the back for easy ground connection as well as kind of a copper plug on the front with a hole in it where you can put the brake out. And you can see when you're making a coil it's, it's important to have a consistent turn turns no kind of overlap and so forth so we won't have spark overs. And now for the output and what everyone has been waiting for. So it's on as you can see I'm just going to turn, turn the potentiometer and just increase the voltage. Just to take a look at the tube. And here you can see I'm just turning it up slowly on the potentiometer. You start to have a breakout around 30%. It doesn't really want to make me go beyond 60. You see, and the tube is getting really hot. So, that's the vacuum tube tester coil.